Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Oops, let me shut that up. Okay. Hmm, the alarm just went off. It's time to get up. <laughs> Wouldn't that be awesome if we just, woo, went up. Okay, it's not time for that yet. But soon and very soon, we shall be out of here. Those of us who are going first. And soon and very soon, we'll be back to help the rest. All right, this is a, my, my prophecy letter from Dawn from overseas. And it starts off, it is for, this is, let's see. Yes, it came at 6.27 a.m. today. September 16th. And now it's 2.30 p.m. All right, the first part is called Small Straws in a Soft Wind by Marsha Burns. Now listen to this. It is time to let go of grudges and forgive those who have offended you. Unforgiveness leaves a stain on your soul. You need to remove this stain so that you can be healed. Love covers a multitude of sins. But bitterness and hatred create an open wound. Whoa. Don't be denied your crown because you cannot forgive somebody. Okay, if they committed a crime against you or one of your loved ones, you do not have to go socialize with them, okay? Because they're not, they're not your relative. They're not, you don't have to do, but you have to, for, you have to forgive them and love them in your heart enough to want them to go to heaven. So praying for that soul to get to heaven, because I'm sure if they were a criminal and they're sitting in jail somewhere, or maybe they're running free. Do you know if they ate the cookies or not? Probably not. So you pray for them that they'll make it to heaven. If that's the way you know you truly have forgiven, if you can say that. If they're a loved one like your mother or your daughter or your father and they haven't eaten the cookies, you forgive them and go hug them. Tell them I forgive you. All right, Ephesians 4, 31 to 32 says, Let all bitterness, wrath, anger, clamor, and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice. No brother and sister in Christ should be having any of this going on. Okay? None of us here on YouTube, no matter what doctrines we disagree on, should feel this way and be kind to one another tender-hearted forgiving one another even as God in Christ forgave you if you want to go leave your your theological opinion on somebody else's channel do it in love and if they come back with a disagreement, you know, they're going to disagree more likely than not. Just leave it alone. You said your piece. You just leave it alone. We don't be contentious with one another. Now, when you're talking about to somebody worldly, you might want to come back at them with a uh, few more scriptures. And then if they come back, you go, well, let me, let me look into that and pray about it. And then you come back with a few more scriptures. Not arguing and with just words. That doesn't get you anywhere. All right. This is uh, a word from the Lord called encouragement in the Holy Spirit. And it was given to Pastor Randy Brodigan who I found out this pastor and these contributors to this are in Texas. They're not overseas. They send these to there. They're in their own prophecy church. All right. For behold, I say to you, or at least this pastor and uh, 
if I understood Don correctly, some of these people, I'm, I'm not sure about every name I ever call out, okay? And certainly not the ones that are found on 444 Prophecy News. They must be getting this letter or Don reads the 444 Prophecy and picks one now and then to replace uh fill in a spot when the others hadn't you know didn't get a word from the lord that day you know not not everybody gets a word from the lord every day and i think if you do you must be some really special person spending all your time in prayer and praise and worship and doing all the things he wants us to and nothing else that's all i can figure you know what i'm saying uh like eric hale now He's been getting word after word after word, and, and, and that boy, that man, he's hard for me to listen to. But when I can see the written down message, I've been wanting to bring them to you, y'all. But I find them late in the day when it's time to get on Google Meet, and then I don't get, get to it. So if you have a hard time listening to Eric Hale on YouTube... Set your listening speed down to about 0.75 or even 0.5, half speed, and see if that doesn't help you, and turn your volume down. That will help some of you if that can't take the loud yelling. Okay, now, for behold, I say to you, I shouldn't have... Oh, I didn't hadn't started. This is the Lord speaking now, starting now. For behold, I say to you that I will give to you things that you do not know or understand. I will give you understanding and I will give you the knowledge of these things. As you call upon me... Jesus, I will answer you and show you great and mighty things, things that you know not of. Do not be afraid of them, nor lean to your own understanding and be discouraged about them, for they are not of your mind. They are of your new spirit, where I have now come within and filled you with my spirit. Some of you have been filled for a long time. Some of you maybe not so long. If you're newly filled, I know you're living a, that first two years. I couldn't get enough of Jesus. I was going to a little bitty church. And they let me sing in the choir. I learned all them old hymns from the hymn book. And... People would, would get filled with the Holy Spirit. They'd get slain in the Spirit. And there was no rolling around on the floor going on. And people hooping and hollering and laughing uncontrollably. I know that can happen with the Holy Spirit. But it's not like what you've seen on some of these videos where they're showing you what the Kundalini Spirit looks like. That's, that's evil. If you have the Holy Spirit in you you should be able to detect the difference you really should god doesn't cause um chaos in the church all right um but sometimes there will, there will be a person get filled and they'll just be so happy they'll laugh and they can't help it but it, it ends you know you can control it you will walk the earth in the power of the Spirit of the living God, in the wisdom of the Spirit of the living God, in the knowledge of the living God, and you will know what to do and when to do it when that time comes. That's what I was talking about earlier today. So just let my Spirit flow in you and through you, let my spirit flow in you and through you. That may be a typo, but he might have said it twice. Jesus often said things two or three times. Verily, verily, I say unto you, which means truly, truly, I say unto you. So let me move on. So my 
Let my spirit flow in you and through you. And the more you work my words by my spirit, the easier it will become. The more you work my works. I think I said words. Works. By my spirit the easier it will become for your mind will settle down and your spirit will minister through your mind through your body and you will see the glory of God displayed and happen in front of you before you for by my spirit you will work wonders and do the will of God I'm not sure this is for the first fruits. I'm kind of thinking it might be for those left behind that will become like the first fruits, except you won't have a glorified body to work in. Even those people who get completely healed of whatever demons they've got in them that they can't let go of yet they get left behind we come back we heal them heart healing heart healing from trauma as a child young adult even as an adult like men at war get PTSD they might have four or five to ten or more heart little boxes in their heart as Kathy calls them Boxes. Every time a trauma happens, you see someone's head blown off, you form a box. And the guys who cannot compartmentalize all the trauma like that, they are the ones that will have the worst PTSD because it's constantly fresh on their mind. They weren't able to, to stuff it and put it in a box in their mind. But then... Even those who have, it, it could be 10, 20 years down the road and someone shakes them awake and they act like they're at war. And it's all over again. That box blows open. But you, it, it's best to let Jesus open them boxes with a hand by your side. And that's how they heal. That's, how, that's the technique used on Grafted in Team Jesus. And it's really awesome <laughs> it's really some of the stuff i've seen and heard i can't see anybody's boxes open in their heart but i've heard it has blown my mind moving on for by my spirit you will work wonders and do this do the will of god for everyone who is loved by my spirit loves to work my spirit's love to others as well. And you will impart to them what I have imparted to you. Now that leads me to believe that's for first fruits. So it could be a word for the first fruits. Because he says you will impart to them what I have imparted to you. You see, that's what we'll be doing. When we come back in our glorified bodies, we'll be going to the ones Jesus tells us to go to. We'll be doing heart healing and deliverance on you, those left behind, and impart to you what we have. And you will do the things we're doing. Because we won't be here that long. And then you'll take over. Do you want the job? Serve the Lord. Make him your master. Okay. And don't eat the cookies. <laughs> For everyone who is loved by my spirit loves to work my spirit's love to others as well. And you will impart to them what I have imparted to you. So go forth now. In my name and work the works of God be strong very courageous not afraid of anything for I am with you 
even to the end of the age. Thank you, Jesus. Now this one came in September 16th. It was given to Bev Robinson. It is here. A time to begin again. To have a fresh start. To have a new outlook. Shh. Do not discount this one little bit. It should read, do not discount this one little bit. You have been waiting for this, and it will slip up on you almost without notice. When you discover it is there, hold on to it. You haven't given it much thought, thinking it will be a long way off. Now is the time to let me fill your mind with ideas of inspiration. Not sure what he means by that. Ideas of inspiration. This might be for a particular few people. Not everyone, perhaps. I can always use inspiration, though. I've kind of lost my... Because I'm thinking, why, why, um, let's say I wanted to uh, recover this plastic dresser. It's like you buy them at Walmart by the drawer. You can buy a three drawer or four drawer and you stick some wheels on under them and you've got like a little plastic dresser. They're great for storage. I've got one that sits in the middle of my studio now beside my throne chair. And it, it's it's mismatched. And I was thinking, I'm going to cover this with some really beautiful material. I ordered a yard of material to put in each square and on each drawer. And I'm like, I can't get into it because Jesus is coming. <laughs> so anyway, um, it's kind of stunted my inspiration, you know. <laughs> anyway. Maybe he's talking about a different kind of inspiration, like ways to pass the gospel around, ways to share the gospel, ways to make a better video if you're teaching online or you're uh, doing any kind of sharing online. Perhaps he wants to inspire you to make a kind of video more people will share and watch. That's what gets the word around. That's the point of doing your best at it. And, and I do the best I can with what I have and the brains I got. Okay. The verse put with this is Isaiah 43 verses 18 through 19 in the ESV. Remember not the former things. Remember not the former things, nor consider the things of old. But, oh, excuse me now, no but. Behold, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs forth. Do you not perceive it? I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Okay, that was the scripture from Isaiah 43, 18 and 19. Jesus can make a way where there seems to be no way. And people left behind that's got to leave their home and they find themselves homeless and running from FEMA. Well, you need to hang on to that scripture. Write it down, memorize it, and say it over and over in your head when you need it. You call it forth. I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Okay. September 16th. Again, this one is to Kevin Robinson. Notice how light is changing. It is more than a flicker. My power is surging through the lines. You will feel it and see it happening like electricity flowing through wires my presence is shockingly illuminating LED lights as bright as they are 
are a pale representation of the brilliant light coming like lightning. My glorious spiritual